nothing coming in because I've got nothing plugged in there. Yes. Okay. Yes. So now you go back to it, then the light should be back on. Now That's what would that be used for? It to uh, if you're playing back from a from a from USB a stick? key. Stick. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You can plug in a, a USB key, key with key and then play it back from there. Yeah. And where would you control it? Like the volume. It's on the uh, well. The volume would be controlled by just like a, a by that fader? fader, whichever it's whichever on. one we have connected to it. Okay. Uh, starting and stopping mm -hmm. is in the menu here. Um, uh, do, 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 the Q drive, stereo, multi-track. Multi so this is where you record, or uh, you can record, uh, or uh, or playback from okay. with the USB uh, key. And this is how All that right. gentleman so this would, last week. You put your key in here, then you record from here. Mm-hmm. No, he, 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 he was plugged into the USB yep. there. There's another USB okay. key Same thing. control on the back, and that would plug into your computer. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then uh, sure. and then you can uh, go from there. Okay. Okay. So okay. he was recording from here into his computer, obviously. Pardon? Right. He was recording through the board to his computer. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You can record uh, uh, stereo or multi-track. Okay, yeah. Well, um, how, how can he record stereo? We can't. Um, can we? Well, the signal's you're, coming you're in not, through all these it's inputs. Not a, it's channeling out as a mono, but it's coming in as a multi-track. Yes, so so when I, when I say stereo, when we, when we looked here, uh, there's a stereo setting and a multi-track setting. Yes. Okay, so when I say you can record stereo, you're not getting a stereo signal yeah. out out because your system is a mono okay. thing. Yeah, if you're going to use this strictly as a recording console and you don't yeah. care about what's happening in the house, sure, then you can create a stereo thing. But but whatever's happening in the house, you're not. Is you're that not when he would go into multi-track? Multi multi-track multi records each individual, each individual channel right. individually. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so when you play it back, you can play one yeah. channel back out of one thing at a time. Exactly. One yes. instrument, whatever. Yep. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but we need we got to keep going here because yeah. it's already uh, twelve after. We got to got to run through. Um, high pass filter. This is uh, basically rolling off the low frequencies below a set uh, a certain frequency. So on this particular channel. Uh, I've just engaged it. You can see it. Yes. See that little purple line there, yeah. and then you can adjust, adjust it, it and move it. So if I turn this it do? up, Takes we're going to demonstrate. Check check, 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 check. One, two. It rolls off the low frequencies. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So this is really handy uh, to uh, to control to help control the pops. So you can you can hear that okay. it's it's down quite a bit when you yeah. do that. So can, anything with uh, with vocals, yeah, I would usually. definitely have that in. Yeah. Usually set to about 100, 125 is a good is a good uh, position to set that. Okay. Okay. The next section here is the is the tone control section, and there are four bands. One, two, three, four. Each band has three knobs that it can that can be adjusted. So one is the gain, so you can cut or boost the frequencies. Yeah, the frequency. One is the next one is the frequency, so you can Move select it. what yeah. frequency it is. Yeah. And the top one is the width, so you can make oh, it nice. wide or yeah. narrow. What the hell is? <laughs> what are you doing when you're doing this? What's so you're changing the sound totally? Really? So this is this is a particular frequency. Mm -hmm. yeah. That you're cutting or boosting, and you you've got a fair bit of, of flexibility. Yeah, you can um, tailor to a person's specific voice so they sound normal. Exactly. Hmm. Yeah, we could use that. We need a lot of training on that. <laughs> you do. <laughs> well, you got to make sure people. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on yeah. how to EQ yeah. tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but just. But we can play with that. Okay. You can certainly play with it. Um, uh, I would be. Uh, I would try not to boost or cut significantly. If you find that you're cutting or boosting more <laughs> than about six or, th or three or four dB, then I would I would something wrong. Yeah. Something's wrong. Try to try a different microphone, a different okay. mic placement, different things like that. Okay. But um, 
All right. Certainly that's that's possible. Over here. Now, again, sorry, why do we have four of those? Those are for four different levels then? Or? Four different, you can adjust four different things. So here's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. Yeah. So you can adjust, you can have four different frequencies that you're adjusting and just to yeah. optimize the sound for that okay. particular for microphone. For just one mic. Okay. Just this mic. Okay. Yeah, if we go to the next, uh, the next mic over, it's, yes. it's not there. Okay. But we All go right. back to it and it's there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Okay. There's a lot to yeah. learn. But oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Um, I am going to, uh, if you press the buttons down below here, copy, paste, and reset. So, reset's good. Reset. <laughs> if you press the reset button and just the button below this, you're going to reset just the tone controls. Okay. If you press reset and the select button on that particular channel, it will reset the entire channel, not including the gain. It, will, okay. it won't adjust the gain. Okay. 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 That's in case you really mess up. <laughs> and the copy and paste work exactly the same way. If you wanted, if you have one, something on one channel, you want to move it to another channel, mm -hmm. you just press copy okay. paste. and then paste to what channel you want to go to. Mm. Okay. So you pick the channels using the select buttons? That's correct, yes, okay. the select buttons. So you copy, select that one, and if you want to paste, you go to that one, and now that will be set up the same as this one. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Okay. Up here, there are two things called gate and comp. This is your, uh, these are other devices. A gate is basically a, uh, think of a garden gate. It needs to open in order for you to walk through. So once, uh, once the signal reaches a certain threshold, the microphone turns on. Mm -hmm. If it goes below that threshold, it closes and, you, and turns off that microphone. That is something that I suggest you don't use until you're familiar with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's, so, there's certain things that, need to, that you need to be aware of. So, so maybe this answers the question. Uh, somebody, yeah, I guess it was Andrea asked me, so when we're, we're on the easy system, she asked me whether we should shut the mics off when, when nobody's actually speaking into them. So is that what this gate thing does? It, sort of. it is an automatic sort of. off. It could be used for that, yes. Could be. But, but we don't have that on the easy system. Not on the easy system. So no. we should shut the mics off. You can mute them on there. Though. I, would, I would suggest that if a microphone is not being used, that it's, it's muted on there. Yes. Or or the uh, okay. or the singer turns it off. Okay, it's it's a general practice. Um, yeah, I just remember when we were talking about the mics that mm -hmm. uh, we talked about mics that uh, we were talking about activate that originally. Until you speak. Yes. yes, we talked about that originally. Yeah. Okay, so then we don't have those kind of mics. So we never do. We can control either. that kind of here with the if we get. To. We'll talk about that. In okay, a so the uh, the compressor here is uh, basically uh, another device that you can use to control what we call transients on a, on a, on a microphone signal. So if, a, if, a, if the sound goes above a certain threshold, then it starts, instead of uh, increasing at, at a set level of one to one, it's gonna start rolling off uh, mm -hmm. and controlling that. Yeah. That can be very, very handy for all sorts of different things including vocals and bass guitars and, and drums, kick drums mm -hmm. and different things oh, to, yeah. to in, in, improve the sound. <laughs> Again, I'm not gonna go into that anymore. We could spend two hours talking about compression, compressors and we've got 11 minutes. <laughs> okay, so uh, we already talked about, it. the button just below it is an in button, in and out button. So if it's on, then that compressor is in. If it's off, then it's not sure. in the circuit. Okay. Same thing goes for your high pass filter and your and your uh, tone controls. So a good rule of thumb when you when you've got uh, some tone controls set and you you think that you've got it sounding really good, just take it out of the circuit and see how it sounds and see if you've actually yeah, improved it made it any better. Oftentimes yeah. your ears fool you and you oh, go, yeah. oh my, I made that way worse. <laughs> Yep, that happens. Okay. Um, the pan knob here, we've talked about that already. Yours is a mono system. I suggest you keep everything straight up and down. Yeah. Yep. Okay. 
Um, don't worry about the GEQ. That is a graphic EQ. That is for outputs. You mm. don't need to worry about that. I'm not going to cover that right now. It's a just. It's another equalizer. Yeah, uh, it does a similar thing to this, right? Uh, yes, there's but only, there's only but it's there's on. it's yeah. faders, yeah, a faders, bunch of fa yeah. 32 faders. Okay. This knob here is. Uh, it's an encoder, so it takes on uh, different settings. So on this one, I can select the gain knob, and then oh, instead of this one here, one. I can adjust it here. Oh, I like that. Okay. So, and that's for all sorts of different things. There's delay, delay on. Um, if you're in the uh, EQ setting, you can select it there and make yes. adjustments there yes. so um, it all depends on how you want to actually operate the system some people love the touch screen personally i don't i would rather use yeah, the knobs. Sometimes i'm a tactile the person thing on the screen the so uh <laughs> but just just so you're aware of what that knob does yeah. yeah. okay that, makes so that knob replaces all of those knobs with the touch screen yeah <laughs> yes what yeah, do. Mm -hmm. it can. Yep. Um, what were you asking over here, Paul? You were saying something. You were asking. A question. Oh, I was asking about this knob. Oh, that knob. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's yeah. why we talked about okay. that. Um.